everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to day 12 of the holiday card series for 2023. I'm using the Christmas Cats stamp set from Ink Blot Shop today. So, so cute. And the little cat in the bottom corner coming out of a present was the inspiration for today's card design. So I'm going to be creating a pull-up card or a pull tab or hidden... I don't know what to call it, a slider card, I guess. And I'm going to have what this one cat that's by itself kind of pop up out of a present. So I'm going to color all of the images in some uh, alcohol markers. I'm going to be using my Olo markers today. And so because I didn't have a present image in the stamp set, I've drawn some additional presents because I wanted there to be three presents. I think, I think it kind of fills the space of the card a bit better. And I also needed one present that would accommodate the cat. So I kind of measured around the cat and figured out that, that sort of squarish box would be the perfect size for the cat. You want to pick something, you know, the, the shape of your box to be um, a little bit larger than the image that's behind it that's going to pop out. And it needs to accommodate some very thin foam tape behind the the present on either side of the cat as well. I'll talk about that a little bit more as I start assembling. So now I'm going to be coloring all of the images with Olo markers. The markers I use will be, uh, their caps will be shown up in the top left corner of the screen. had finished coloring all of the cats and the presents and also trimmed them out. I then put uh, some red string on the tall present and then I arranged my images on the front of the card on some cardstock and just taped them in place so that they wouldn't move around while I determined where the greeting would go. 
So I removed everything except the red present because I needed to have that position just perfectly to get the greeting. And then I stamped the greeting in Versafine Onyx Black Ink. So at this point, this card base is actually A2 sized, but I actually need to trim it down so it's a little bit shorter than an A2 card to accommodate the little pull tab I'm going to be adding. So I've actually trimmed it down a little bit smaller. I cut off about 3 eighths of an inch off the bottom of the card and um, just so it's a little smaller now. So then I traced that present. This is going to help me determine where to put the slider mechanism. So you can see that that cat fits inside that present shape with plenty of space. So I used my T-square ruler to draw a little vertical channel um, right behind where that present is going to go. This is where the, um, the cat is going to slide up and down. After I had that tall rectangle drawn, I then used the ruler and an X-Acto knife or a craft knife just to cut that out. If you have a die that is similarly shaped, you could definitely use that. So I'm putting a little tiny foam square, it's a little more of a rectangle, at the very bottom of the cat image, and that will fit right inside that channel that I've cut. So now that the cat is right on top, I'm going to put the present on and I wanna put foam tape only around the outside edges, but only on the sides and the bottom. This is going to allow that cat to move up from, the in, from inside of that box. So I don't want any foam tape at the top blocking the cat. I want it to be left open. So only a U shape of foam tape. I'm going to check on the back here just to make sure that this is still kind of sliding how I want it to. Looks pretty good. So now I have a long piece of red cardstock. This is going to be the, the pull tab for the cat. And I've got this stamp set from My Favorite Things. This is the Interactive Labels stamp set. I've had it for, I think, maybe even a couple of years. I've never used it. I've always wanted to use it on an interactive card. And I would guess I just was looking for the perfect opportunity. And here we are. I'm stamping that little pull word in some white pigment ink. And I did use an anti static powder tool just to prep the area. I applied some white embossing powder and then used a heat tool to melt that embossing powder. I'm going to use a microfiber cloth after it's cooled off to wipe off any of that excess anti static powder. And it cleans that up really well. I then use my uh, crocodile corner chomper on the quarter inch rounder. I have no idea if this corner chomper is still being sold. I think it probably is. If it is, I'll link it link it down in the supplies. So now I'm going to pull that put that pull tab on my card. So I've turned the the card over, and I'm going to very carefully put my pull tab directly over the center of that area and get it lined up vertically on my card. Now you could definitely, you know, draw some pencil lines with a T-square ruler just to give yourself a little more of a guide on where to put the pull tab, but I kind of just eyeballed it and thankfully it worked out really well. So all, all we need to do now is kind of sandwich in that pull tab so that it can't slide around. So I'm going to take some foam tape and I'm putting it right up against that pull tab. I'm leaving the tiniest gap between the foam tape and the pull tab, just so that it has a little bit more give. You don't want it so snug that that pull tab is going to catch on the edge of the foam. So it's mostly right up against that red cardstock, but just the teeny tiniest bit away from it. All right, I'm adding some more foam tape on the other side, and this is going to lock in that channel where the pull tab can come up, and it will pull the cat out from behind the present. Testing it one more time just to make sure it's gonna work well. Looks great. So I'm going to then put foam adhesive on all the other areas of the card. All right, and once I have that done, then I can use, um, I'm gonna put the card base right on top. So I'm using the corner of my Misty just as a guide to help me get the card base on just perfectly. And this card base is top folding and I've cut it um, to be the same height and a width as my card front. 
So I'm going to use the corner of my Misty just to put that card base down directly onto my card design. And that locks in that pull tab. So now when I pull the pull tab, that cat comes out really, really easily. The last thing to do is to adhere the cat in the present as well as that really, really tall one. And I just put a double layer of adhesive on the very bottom of that aqua box. And then I put just one layer of foam adhesive right behind the cat. All right, so there is my finished card with that pull tab, super fun. Um, and all this took me about an hour and a half to make, but I did do a trial run, which took me about three hours to work out the mechanisms. I eventually ended up watching a video from Jennifer McGuire, which I'm sure you can all relate to when you're trying to remember how to do a particular technique. So thanks so much for watching the day 12 video for the holiday card series. I'll be back on Monday for a live stream of the day 13 card. So come back and join me on Monday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.